So mm -hmm. which one there, Andrew? Uh, let's do mm -hmm. number three. The answer is wrong. Number three. Yeah. No. <coughs> number okay. Three. Right, read it out to me, please. Um, find the unit vector which has a zero vector for that with i minus j plus two k. I minus j. Seriously. Yeah. I minus j plus okay, two k. And minus i plus three j. Yeah. Minus i plus yeah. three. Yeah. No cap. Okay. Yeah. No okay. Yeah. And also that it's a unit vector. Yeah. How do you know the and the unit vector of the i plus i one minus one two? Dude, read it. Andrew, read it to me again. Go for it. Find a unit vector which. Pause. Okay, he said find a unit vector. Ding! Okay, continue. <laughs> uh, has a unit vector. Zero dot product with. Yeah. Has a zero dot product with one minus one two. Yeah, yeah. Ding! And. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I must have said this ten times to you. Zero dot product means A dot B is zero. You're killing me, man, you're killing me! And ding. Yes. But you want me to do it or not? No. Yes, sir. I'm talking to Andrew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so <laughs> if R is X, Y, Z, and I put that in here, I get X minus Y plus 2Z equals 0. And here I'll get minus X plus 3Y equals zero. Mm -hmm. And here I'll get x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals one. Yes. So solve. And then we only uh solve x y z only or yeah. we have to No. It is but but why the answer is so weird like um all the one or the one is Did it not work out to be that? Yeah, no, no. No, no, I believe you, I suppose. Let me check with my trusty program that makes no mistakes. <laughs> you know, I got this new sweater yesterday, and not one person today said it was a nice sweater. You didn't even notice, did you? <laughs> Because oh, I do wear every day green color. Yeah. This is so different to my other green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're bad. Yeah. I've, I've had this bag since Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh no, sorry! This bag you haven't seen. Yeah, this one's different. Yeah, yeah that one's different. <coughs> That's my personal bag. The other bag is my school bag. I have two bags. Right. What are the three equations now? X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared equals 1. What's the other equation? Uh, what? Ho, 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 ho. Tut, tut. Yeah. X and Z are beside each other. Uh, this one here is x minus y plus 2z equals 0, isn't it? Yes. And then the last one? Um, x. x minus no, minus x. Minus x oh, goodness. Plus 3y yeah. Equals 0. Right, let's see. Solve system of 3. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Your calculator can do that. No, it can't. It can only do it if it's linear, not if it's quadratic. Oh. Is this the answer at the back? No. No, it's wrong then. Oh, okay. No, it should be x, y, z. Is this not the answer at the back? Yeah. No. I guess I know. I know what to say. Is my answer at the back right or wrong? No. Oh, no, it is. No, no, no. Route 44. Okay, I'll have to fix it then. I'll have to fix it though. And um, if we... And how, how can you get this? I don't know.
Oh, what I did was, I, I, can't, I don't know why it's wrong, but like here, you see the way the root 19 over 19 is the same in each component? Mm -hmm. I would have just taken that out. So like for example, if, if you know, if the answer was something like 2i plus 4j plus 10k, I would have said that's 2, 1, 2, 5. I would have just taken the common factor out. That's all that happened with this one. Now, if that answer is wrong, I should have this. But I didn't get this either. Well, that's not, you can't say the computer program is I wrong. Mean, did they, I, mean, I mean, did they get this one? No, they didn't. So the answer at the back is wrong. The answer at the back should be this. Yeah, but... Uh, huh? Did they get this? No. Well, I don't know. Maybe uh, did you get this answer? No, no, they didn't. They, they, they want to show. Cause I, cause I don't think there's. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> what you're saying that? then is I got an answer which is not this. Therefore, the program solved no, it wrong. No, I don't Could know where the problem is. Maybe I misunderstood the concept. Well, did you get these three equations to solve? Yeah. yeah. Where are they gone? Can't find them. Did I not write them down? It's not everything. Well, I wrote them down here. Yeah. You got these three? Mm -hmm. Now, what I would do... Is it a dot? Is it a dot? Yeah. Three one. No, the other one. Oh! I thought I replaced the Z. Oh, it yeah. went back to X. Oh! oh. Alright. Oh, right, for the third time, <laughs> Z is there. Okay. There's still a chance you could be right. Now, you see, the program wasn't wrong. It was the user that was wrong. Oh. Human error. Human error, totally. I'm just I'm waiting to add the suspense. Oh, <laughs> oh I like what? Yes! That's what the answer should yeah, be. Yeah. And you know oh, the answer at the back is still wrong, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is right now. One over 11. It's not enough. No, it's like root 11 or root 11. Yeah, 1 over root 11 is the same as root 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's 11 or 11. Okay. So if I was writing this at the back, what I would do is I would take the root 11 over 11 out, and I'd be left with 3, 1, minus 1. Yeah, minus 2. No, no, 3, 1, minus 1. Oh gosh, then I'm going to get No, it's just... <laughs> there is a second answer here. No, no, you are correct. Uh, the only difference is it's a minus, a minus, and a plus. So in fact, the two answers here are like this. Yeah. Can you? Is there yeah. 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 No, both are acceptable. What's happening is. Um, the reason that there's a minus answer is my requirement means that if this vector satisfies the three conditions, then the vector pointing in the opposite direction also satisfies them. And you can kind of see why that might be, because um, this equation has squares in it. So the squares don't care about the minus. And if you multiply everything here by minus and minus, because it's equal to zero, they don't care about minus either. So none of these equations care if all the signs became minus. So well, there's two answers. Uh, you're looking for the dot sign, right? So uh, we have plus minus in front, so the red, I mean like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, continue. Oh. Yeah. Right, continuing. What, wow, Monica? Now we are coming. Can I continue? Jerry's getting bored. He wants to continue. Oh, okay. Yes? Okay. We'll continue, Jerry. So, uh, imagine now I have two vectors. Uh, I'll call this vector, um, we'll just call it R1, and I'll call this vector here R2, and I would like to know the angle between them. That's what I want to know. Now, to make this a little bit harder, these vectors, they're in three dimensions. Not two dimensions, three dimensions. Do you understand they're in three dimensions? 
not not two. Right, so how can I find this angle here? With the um, S3. Huh? Like it's 3. It's 3D. But we can add the angle. Make it 2D. Ah, no, no, no. Well, kind of. We can draw a. We could make it a triangle. So if this was a trigonometry problem, and you wanted to find the theta, what rule could you use? Sine rule. Sine rule or cosine rule. But since we have only one angle, cosine. use the cosine rule. Yeah? yeah? Now, do we know the length of this vector? And let's pretend we know R1. So could we know the length of R1? Yes. Yeah, so we definitely know the length here. Mm -hmm. Do we know the length here? Yes. Yeah. Now, do we know the length here? No. Well, if this point is R1 and this is R2, then this vector here is R1, R2. Uh. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> if this is A and this is B, okay. then this vector is AB. Yeah. So this one here is R1, R2. Yeah. Can we know that? Yeah. yeah, because it's R2 minus R1. Then We'll get to the dot, yeah. So do we know this? We do. So, using cosine rule from the first semester, we can say um, R1, R2 squared equals R1 squared plus R2 squared minus twice R1, R2 cos theta. Now, before I continue, just a little note on the side. A nice result here. A dot A equals, let's say, X, Y, Z dot X, Y, Z, for example, mm -hmm. which equals X squared plus that's Y squared. But that's equal to square root squared, mm -hmm. X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. But well, what's this here? Magnitude of A squared. So in other words, magnitude A squared is the same as A dot A. Yeah, maybe you want to note that. This is a side note. I wanted a square root to make the magnitude formula. I balance it by putting a square in as well. It's as if I just wrote uh, b equals square root b squared. Yeah? Continue? Scroll down. There's nothing to scroll down to. You scroll right. Back to this. Yeah? Now, if I use that result, this is R1, R2 dot R1, R2 equals, this is R1 dot R1 plus R2 dot R2 minus twice magnitude of R1 magnitude of R2 cos theta. Now it's a little bit of a pain to write the arrow all the time, so I'm not going to write the arrow. So this one here, this is R2 minus R1 dot R2 minus R1 equals R1 dot R1 plus R2 dot R2 minus 2 magnitude R1 magnitude R2 cos theta. So if I expand here, I get R2 dot R2 minus R2 dot R1 minus R1 dot R2 equals R1 dot R1 plus 2 dot 2 minus 2 R1 R2's magnitude cos theta. 
but that's kind of nice because I can cancel uh, R1 R1 oh I left something out on the left sorry just want to squeeze it in here blue I forgot to do the last one minus R1 dot R1 because now what I can do is I can cancel the R1 R1 on the right with the R1 R1 on the left huh I, I missed out the R1 R1 I just wrote in there oh it's plus thank you uh, they cancel R2 R2 cancels with R2 R2 these two are actually the same so that's minus 2 R1 dot R2 equals minus 2 R1 magnitude R2 magnitude cos theta of course I can cancel the minus 2's and I end up with this formula cos theta equals uh, R1 dot R2 over magnitude of R1 times magnitude of R2 so I've made a formula to give me the angle between two vectors so if I know R1 and R2 I can know the angle between them So this, is the formula. this is the formula for the angle between vectors. Uh, yeah, you probably should. Angle between R1 and R2. R1 dot R2 over magnitude of R1 times magnitude of R2. That's a dot on the top. Got that? You write this down, Jerry? Yeah. yeah. Here's a small example. Example. Yeah. Using this formula, give me the angle between this vector, uh, 202 and uh, 414. I want the angle between them. So you can say theta is cos inverse R1 dot R2 over magnitude of R1 magnitude of R2. See what you get for the angle in degrees please. You know what to do Jerry? Yeah. yeah? Degree, please. Ten point oh two. Ten degrees. Yeah, not
I want you to get a t-shirt that says that. Masara. Is that one? Yeah, you can make these online. Okay. You got an answer, Jerry? Yeah, I have an answer. What's your answer? Are you using degrees or radians? Yeah. Radians? Yeah, give me degrees, please. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, come on. <laughs> Pass it up to. Yeah, the answer is yeah. Oh. Give it to me. <laughs> what? What did he do? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, you want to No, just, yeah, I can't. Uh, right, let's have a look. <coughs> so this is cos inverse. On the top would be 8 plus 0 plus 8, so 16. And the bottom of the square root is 8 and 33. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So what you get? Ten. Ten, 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 ten. ten degrees. Yeah. Okay. This gives us a reason why um, that can be useful. Because watch this, Lee. Mm -hmm. If R one is perpendicular to R two then that means the angle between them is 90, right? Yes. yes. So that means cos the angle between them is 30 and 1. Zero. one. Try again. And zero. 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 Yes, zero. Like zero. So that means uh, that R1 dot R2 over magnitude of R1, magnitude of R2, because that equals cos theta, that would equal zero. So that means R1 dot R2 over magnitude of R1, magnitude of R2 would equal zero. But if a fraction is zero, it's only zero if the top is zero. You know, if A over B is zero, it can only be zero if it's because the top is zero. Yeah. So that means R1 <coughs> dot R2 would equal zero. zero. So this is the result. If R1 is perpendicular to R2, then that is because their dot product is uh, zero. Or if their dot product is zero, uh, they're perpendicular. That's a very useful result because it gives us a way to quickly check if two vectors are perpendicular. So do you remember in the last lesson when we were doing the last example and we had A, B and C? And we said A dot A equals 1, mm. B dot B equals 1, and A dot B equals, equals zero. 0. Let's see what that means now. A, B. a dot A equals 1. What does that tell us? Can I scroll down? Sine. Sine. No, 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 no. A dot A equals 1. What does that tell me? Cos minus 1. A. A. It tells me the magnitude of A is 1. Yeah. Because remember we said A dot A is magnitude of A yeah. squared. Yeah. If I tell you B dot B is equal to 1, then that means the magnitude <coughs> is one. 1. And if I tell you a dot b is equal to 0, then a is perpendicular to b. So what was special about a, b? They were special because they were unit vectors that were perpendicular. A lot like i and j. i and j are unit vectors, right? And are they perpendicular? Yeah. So my point is this, vectors which are unit vectors and perpendicular are important vectors. How can we check if they're unit vectors quickly? 
A quick way to check if it's a unit is if a dot a is 1. How can we check if they're perpendicular quickly? Well, dot should be 0. Yeah? So, just to put those results together, if a dot a equals 1, b dot b equals 1, and a dot b equals 0, we call a and b a unit basis. <coughs> Examples. Here's one example. I and J. That's one example of a base. Out. Mm -hmm. so. Are you the Basis. Unit base. So in physics, in physics we don't. Let me try and draw this. Here is me. Here is me. So in this world, maybe I use I and maybe I use J and I write my vectors using I and J. Okay, in this world, maybe I use A and maybe I use B and I write my vectors using A and B. Now, A and B are not the same as I and J. Okay, I is horizontal and B is vertical. Whereas in this world, A is like northeast and B is like uh, uh, southwest, a uh, southeast. Sorry. In physics, we don't care. We don't care about uh, this. We only care if the base we use are units and perpendicular. So often in physics, um, if you had a problem like this, where you had something being thrown up a hill. Rather than writing the i and j here, we'll use a different base. This way and this way. When you resolve vectors, kind of what you're doing. You're choosing a direction which is convenient. As long as they're perpendicular, it's good. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, really, that's kind of like just the main idea. We have one formula for this lesson. Uh, and that's really it. So let's have a look at just the example. I don't think they are too hard. Oh yeah, well actually here, just before you try, uh, let me just ask you this. Here's vector A. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. There's vector B. And there's vector C. And I say A, B, C, I can use those vectors to make a triangle. So vector A points to A, vector B points to B, and vector C points to C. And I want to find these angles. So if I call this angle alpha, beta, gamma, mm -hmm. what would cos alpha equal? Gamma. Could you draw it in the same just tell me. <laughs> I want to use the formula I taught you. So what do I put into the formula? A, B, A, A, B, C, what? A, B, C, dot, C, dot, B. No. 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 A, C, dot, A, B, B. That's it. Over magnitude of AC, magnitude of AB. So before you start, you have to first calculate AC, uh, which gives us this vector. How do we get that, AC? Yeah, because we know C and we know A. And how can I get this one? C minus A. Okay. This, sometimes students get confused and they, they put in something like A dot B or something like that. But 
Just remember what your, your vectors. Vector A points here. We actually want this vector, which is from A to C, with this one, which is from A to B. Yeah, so that was the only sneaky thing I did in this lesson, which was in question three. <sighs> A little sneaky. But the questions aren't really that difficult, and they're not really that interesting, so enjoy. If you want something juicy, number four and five are a little juicy. Just, just a little bit, so. Well, yeah, let's try these for a few minutes and finish. <laughs>